Today we will set up a Grab website in just 5 minutes. In the previous video we discussed what is actually Grab and how it is different from a static site generator and uh, we also spent time understanding what is the difference between static site generator and a flat file CMS. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, how we can download Grav. Then we will be doing the installation of Grav on our uh, local computer. Then we'll add some content on our Grav website uh, using uh, the admin panel and we will also add some content without using any admin panel by simply modifying the files and then we'll take a look at how we can uh, install and configure new themes at the same time we will also try to understand how we can uh, download some new plugins and finally we will spend some time going through some resources where you can go and understand how to work on Grav, how to make sure that you understand the basics of Grav, which is really good for building a simple website using flat file CMS. So let us now first understand how we can download Grav. So you need to first go to this uh, website called getgrav.org. If you go to this uh, particular website, you can of course uh, understand the various features of Grav. But if you want to download the Grav, simply click on the link that is there on the homepage called Get Grav. If you click on the link, you will be taken to the page uh, to the download section of Grav. And you can, uh, of course, go through the instructions. But for for this particular example today, I will be using this uh, this package called Grav Core plus admin plugin. So what it means, it means that when you download Graph Core, you will of course have the option to work on your Graph website by simply modifying the files. But I want to show you how we can also use the admin panel, which is nothing but a plugin. So if you want to also use the admin panel with your Graph website, you need to download this particular package called Graph Core plus admin plugin and it will give you one uh, zip file where you can uh, which you can download on your local computer and the moment you unzip your unzip your package that you will download from this website you practically can set up your uh, website within few minutes so let us now understand how we can work on the grav package with admin panel so what i've done already i have already downloaded the package with admin panel and uh, I have already unzipped it into a folder called Grav Demo. So let me take a look at the content of uh, this particular folder. So in this particular folder, you have a lot of uh, files. So you have files and folders like assets, bin, cache, images. There is a file called index.php. There is a folder for keeping track of all the logs. And there is a folder called user. And all the configurations, all the, all the data is actually stored within your uh, user folder. So to first understand how we can run this particular uh, uh, package or how we can install Grav, all you need to do, you need to simply go to this particular uh, uh, folder, which is a graph demo in my case, and you need to run this particular command. And for this particular graph to work, you need to have PHP installed on your local computer. Or if you don't have PHP installed, you can uh, simply copy this entire folder in your uh, document root of Apache, for example. But uh, I just want to show you how we can even set up a Grav website without even using Apache because if you install PHP, you can you, you can basically use the PHP inbuilt web server to quickly run your uh, Grav website. So you need to run this command called PHP hyphen capital S followed by localhost uh, column 8000, which is the port number which I want to use. And then you, then you need to go to this particular folder called system slash router.php. So the moment you run this particular command, you actually have your uh, grab site running and you can actually now go to the uh, uh, go, to, go to this particular URL called uh, localhost uh, on your browser. So let us now go to our browser and see how we have this new grab website, uh, uh, which is something that we have just downloaded running on our local computer. So I'll type in my localhost colon 8000. And the moment I do it, 
I need to first create one admin account. So I'll do it very quickly. I'll create my username and uh, I'll also create uh, my password so that uh, we can uh, log into our Grab admin panel. And by the way, this is optional if you are not using admin plugin. Since we downloaded the Grab package with admin plugin, we can now create one account, one admin account to log into our Grab admin panel from the browser user interface. So I'll quickly create uh, my account. So you need to give your uh, username, email address, password, and of course your full name and maybe your title. So let us say my title is uh, admin and you can click on the create user button to create your account. And uh, let us see how, how our site looks like. Uh, the, the, the first time I'm trying to log in with uh, this new user that I'm also cre creating at the same time. So I'll wait for uh, it to finish. So now we have this uh, new user created and uh, the moment you create a new user, you're now also logged into your Grav admin panel. And to view your site, you can either go to localhost colon 8000 or you can also click on this uh, small link here that will actually take you to your website. So this is my website and uh, you can see here, here on this particular page that you have, uh, of course, your Grav uh, uh, logo, you have some icons on top, or you can also have uh, these menu items basically. And this is actually a proper website. You can click on this particular link on your main navigation bar on top called typography. And uh, we can now further work on this particular website to, to actually customize it. We can probably add uh, maybe our own logo. We can also add uh, our own image banner on top. So let us now go back to our admin panel. And if you spend some time on this particular admin panel, it is quite intuitive. It is not really difficult to find your way. And the first thing that I will do probably is I will create uh, maybe some pages. So if I first show you some existing pages on my Grab website, I can click on the pages uh, uh, link on the left hand side and uh, you do have the uh, option to take a look at a couple of pages like home and typography and if i click on let us say the configuration of my grav uh, website you can see here that my home page is currently set to the home which is nothing but a page in my grav uh, installation which is something that comes out of the box of course you can modify it later on you can also have the uh, you can you can see the option to change the theme right now the theme that comes with my gram package my graph package is called quark which is in my opinion quite good but uh, we can also download and install new themes by going to the theme section so the first thing that i want to do today is uh, i want to create a couple of pages and at the same time i also want to show you how the files are created in our grav installation folder so if i go back to my terminal where my uh, grav server is running i will keep this running uh, if you want to continue working on the Grav website from your local uh, computer on your browser, keep your server running. But in a different tab, I will go to this directory called user and uh, I will first uh, open my uh, text editor. I'm using Emacs here because I'm more comfortable working on Emacs. And what I will do, I will first go to this uh, directory called user. And in my user directory, I have uh, some folders like accounts, config, data, pages, plugins, and themes. And as you have probably guessed already, if you install a new plugin or a theme, it will be stored in these two folders. And I want to now create a couple of pages. So I'll go inside this particular directory called data or maybe pages, for example. So in this particular case, I have this particular directory called pages. And uh, as you noticed here uh, on the on the admin UI from the from the front end, you have these two pages called home and typography. And these two pages are also there within my user slash pages directory. And the way Grav works, you need to have a directory for your page and within your directory, you further have a file 
called uh, let us say default dot md which is nothing but uh, the format that i want to use or the type of page that i have so if i show you my default dot md you can see here that uh, you have the title of your uh, page followed by the body classes which is nothing but the css class that you want to use in your page and if you make a change in this particular file let us say you want to change your title or you want to change your 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 your, your, your text which is displayed on the content if i want to change it to something else but i'll probably show you how it looks like if i go go back to my uh, graph i can see here that the same text is displayed on my uh, on my admin panel when i click on the home page but if i go to the home page it says right now say hello to graph i will probably modify it to something else just to show you how it works say hello to graph uh, hello world and uh, i will save my file and if i do a refresh of my home page you can see here that the changes are instantly reflected on my graph home page so let us now create a couple of pages and i will go back to my uh, listing of directory so in this particular case i have two directories home and typography so let me create a new page so i go back to my admin panel because i want to show you how we can create a page from both admin panel and also from your uh, your console without using any panel at all so when you log into your admin panel and you go, and you go to the pages section you have the option to go to the top right corner where you have the option to click on the button called add and then if you click on the add page option you can then give your uh, page a title let us say i want to create uh, about us page so i can create uh, this uh, title and the folder name will also be created for you and then you can also specify whether you want this particular about us page to be within your root so this is something that i am fine with i want to keep this about us at the very top level and then you can also specify the page template and this is very important because uh, when you are creating a simple page you can use a default template if you're creating a blog you also have the option to use the blog specific template because this template template will define how your page will look like and how certain features will be will be enabled or you can say that some of the features are only specific to a specific type of of page for example when you create a blog you have some some specific uh, configurations only there for you on a blog content type so for this particular example i will simply create a default uh, page template and then i want to make sure that this particular uh, page is also visible so i can simply say yes i want this particular page to be displayed and also make sure that it is uh, viewable from the from the uh, from the browser and then you can of course uh, add content to your uh, about us page so i'll probably add some content like uh, welcome to my site i want this to be my let us say header one then you can also add something like uh, this is our demo graph site and uh, you can now see that you have the option to change the header to uh, to something else maybe h2 or h3 then you can add your content this is my website where i'm trying to show how graph works so i'm just adding some content and of course you can also use the option here to uh, to simply insert some formatting very easily and uh, uh, let us now save the page and let us see how it looks like so if i save my page and if i go back to my home page let us see if we are able to see the new page or not so we have now this new page called uh, about us it looks good because uh, uh, you have the option to of course add the content from the admin panel and the moment you add the content the changes are of course reflected but let us see how the pages are created when we go back to the folder so right now i am using emacs and if you are using the directory mode you can press the g key here so that any new files or or any changes are also reflected when you are within your emacs so you can see here that now there is a new directory called about hyphen us and by the way these numbers actually define the ordering and uh, you can of course uh, uh, read about how the ordering will work when you go to the graph documentation but uh, just to let you know if you are a beginner these numbers will define the order of the pages and how 
those pages will be displayed on the on the website so so for each and every page there is a new directory and within your directory you have the option to take a look at your uh, your content and since we use the default template we have this file called default.md so if we go inside this particular uh, uh, th this particular page you can see here that we have uh, a title which is about us then we have the option to take a look at uh, of course the content that we added and of course you can now further make a change to this content welcome to my site uh, this is a great way to add content and uh, you can also make a change uh, either through your admin panel or you can make a change by simply going to your uh, directory and modifying the file straight away so this is a, a simple website which i have uh, prepared now let us uh, do some further changes let us now create our own home page and let us now use a different type of a template so instead of uh, using my default template i will be using a template of type modular so there is a difference between default and modular and the difference is when you create a modular type of page you have the option to add further elements to your page for example in my new home page i want to have a banner followed by few sections where i can probably add some 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 more content so let me create a new new home page and i want to give my uh, my my page a title let us say my title is welcome to graph and i want to of course keep it at the parent level but this time i will be using the modular content uh, or the uh, modular page template because i want to show you how the modular uh, page behaves and how it is different from uh, default uh, default template so when you add a modular content you can simply click on the save button and then you can also go to the configuration of your uh, of your grav uh, website to change the home page to uh to, to the new modular page that we have just created so now i want my welcome to graph to be my home page and whenever i open my uh, website or whenever someone is go uh, coming to the website uh, uh, by simply typing in the domain name they will be presented with this particular uh, page so now we have this new home page and you can see here that it is currently empty there is nothing here but uh, we will now make a uh, few changes to this particular uh, uh, new page called welcome to graph if i go back to my uh, my 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 pages my list of pages i can go to my welcome to uh, graph uh, page and then i can add some more content so let me see if i can uh, add a content here uh, i can probably you know try to uh, add some content within my modular page so if i add something here something like uh, uh, this is my home page for graph using modular page template and uh, i will click on the save button and let us see if uh, this new uh, this new content is reflected on uh, on my site or not so if i add any new content it is not reflecting anything because the way modular template works is different from the default template when you want to add some content on uh, or within your uh, modular type of page you need to add further pages of different templates within your main modular page so let let us add couple of new uh, new sections called modular so since we are adding new content within our modular page we need to click on the option called add modular and when you add uh, new features or new new type of content or rather new sections within your modular content you are presented with a few different type of options which is uh, probably different from what you saw earlier when you created a new page uh, of type default or maybe a blog so right now we have three type of templates let us now add them one by one first of all i want i will probably add uh, something called as uh, features so let us say i add a feature called uh, let, let, let me just you know give this particular page the same uh, the same uh, page title as the modular uh, uh, template uh, name so this is the name of my title uh, my page title of type modular and uh, my modular template is using this particular template called uh, feature and the important thing here is to uh, ensure that your this modular th basically this modular modular content should be within my 
welcome to grav uh, page which is nothing but my modular page so if i add on the uh, if i click on the continue button i can then uh, see what all options i have within my uh, features modular template and this particular uh, this particular uh, modular page or modular content looks slightly different you have different options to worry about here so let us first take a look at the content if i add some content here uh, something like this is my feature type of uh, content then you can go to the options uh, within the options you have the standard options to make sure that the page or the uh, content is published or you can also add the publish date let us take a look at the advanced section you have of course here uh, the name of the folder and the important thing to uh, uh, to take a look at here is that the folder name of type modular is always uh, starting with underscore uh, because uh, it is not really a, a typical page it is not it is basically a modular content type and uh, let us see what is inside the features tab so within your features tab you have the option to select the layout and you also have the option to add different features so let us see how it works let me add a few items uh, under my feature section so if i click on the add item i can first select uh, some icon so let me select uh, let us say this uh, icon called heart and then i will probably add uh, some header and uh, maybe some text here followed by some url so let us say if i uh, want to add some features i just want to see how these features uh, uh, look like so i'll add one one particular feature or one particular particular item within my feature modular uh, content type and then i'll add i'll probably add one more so this this time i want to select a different icon let us say star and i quickly want to enter some header followed by a text and maybe the same link so i just want to see how it looks like and uh, since i've done a couple of changes in my uh, in my feature modular uh, uh, type of content i want to see how my site now behaves so if i go back to my home page of my grab website and i do a refresh you can see here that uh, the the page is now updated with a few icons followed by a text and uh, of course there is a link as well so it seems like when you want to display some sort of uh, a list of features if you are doing some product offering and you want to display some icons that uh, my product offers these five or ten features you can probably use this particular uh, modular uh, content type called features at the same time i want to go back to my pages and uh, i want to see how uh, how the structure of my site is currently looking so i have this uh, modular uh, page called uh, welcome to graph within my welcome to graph i have uh, one more page called uh, feature and you can see here that the folder name is also displayed welcome to graph followed by welcome to grab and uh, for my modular content type called feature the folder name starts with underscore feature at the same time i will quickly go back to my uh, my folder structure and i just want to see how my how my folder structure is displayed and how exactly it is affecting the files within my graph package so i can see here that there is a new folder called welcome to graph and if i go inside this particular folder i have this file called modular.md and if you remember we added some content uh, within this particular file but uh, the content was uh, uh, not really updated because when we work on the modular type of uh, of content or a page we need to add different modular uh, um, modular uh, um, modules or modular types within our folder so we added one folder called feature from the ui and within our features you have of course uh, different icons or different types or different fe features that we added so we added uh, two icons if you remember from the ui and those two icons along with uh, their header name and text name are also updated uh, in our uh, in our features.md file so let us now go back to the to the admin panel and this time i want to add maybe one more modular uh, uh, modular template called hero and let us see how it looks like so when we add uh, uh, this particular hero type of uh, modular template i just want to give my page title as hero because i just want to show you uh, how these different templates 
uh, or modular templates uh, look like when we are working on grab uh, modular content. So this time I want to ensure that uh, my page, uh, my parent is again uh, welcome to grab. And if I click on the continue button, I want to see how the hero type of template uh, will behave. So this is again similar to the features uh, type of content, but I think I need to go to the hero tab, the last tab, where I can probably add one hero image. And since I know how this particular uh, template works, because when you're using hero template or hero type of modular page, it is nothing but uh, some header image that can be displayed on on the home page or on the modular modular page that we have just created so for this particular template i will first add some content let us say i want to add the content like welcome to my website and i want to probably change the uh, the 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 format to h1 followed by uh, h2 maybe this is uh, my graph demo and this time i want to ensure that the uh, the the format is h2 and i will save it and for using the images in uh, in our hero type of modular page i want to first make sure that there is a file or image file uploaded to my page folder so for doing that i will go back to my uh, my 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 file directory and if i go back to my welcome to graph page <clears throat> i have the option to of course go inside my hero and of course i have my hero.md file but we need to also copy a file uh, within this particular folder so what i will do i will uh, i will quit my emacs and uh, i will uh, copy one uh, one direct one one file one head of one one header or banner file that i already have saved on my desktop so let me file let me find the uh, file which uh, i want to use and i will copy this particular file called uh, towerbridge.jpg and i will uh, go inside my user pages directory and then i want to see what what is my file name my file name is uh, uh, 04 welcome to grav underscore hero and I will copy the file here. So I've already copied the file now. And if I go back to my home page or my admin panel, sorry, I can see here that now I have the option to take a look at this particular file called tower bridge. And then I can use this particular file on my website. So let us see how the, how the site is now looking. If I go back to my home page, you can see here that uh, there is a new image uploaded and it says welcome to my website which is nothing but the banner that uh, or the or the text that we used within our hero.md file from the u from the ui and of course we can see here that uh, the image is also now uploaded there are a few more th few more changes that we can do on this particular uh, on this particular page if, if i go back to my hero dot uh, uh, or my hero page i am working on my uh, on my hero modular page using my admin panel i can also add some classes for example if i want my text to be light uh, which is displayed on top of the image i can use this particular class which is already available for me and then i can also use something like uh, title hyphen h1 h2 so these are some of the classes that i can use uh, to to make my home page look uh, decent and better and i will also add some classes like overlay dark because i want to change the color of my image to slightly dark so that the text stands out and i may want to change the change the size of my banner to medium so that it looks better so i've done some changes i have uh, added some classes and let's see how the site is now uh, looking uh, if i go back to my home page i will refresh it and uh, now you can see the, the the site is actually looking really good i mean to be honest uh, within just a few minutes uh, we are able to create a decent looking site and this site has this uh, big 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 image banner you have some uh, some features which are which are nothing but some icons there is one more uh, one more uh, modular page or mod modular content that we can add and that is called as text 
So if I go back to my listing of pages and if I add very quickly one more modular, uh, uh, modular content, this time I want to use a simple text uh, file but with this particular template, uh, I want to use my parent as welcome to graph followed by my modular template type, which is called text. And in this particular uh, modular content, I will be using a simple text to display some content on uh, my homepage. But I, I just want to show you how it looks like. So this is uh, my simple uh, text. Uh, and of course you can, uh, you can uh, probably add more content and uh, in this particular case you can also add uh, one image if you have any image and the way you will be using the image is uh, quite similar you just need to copy the image file that you have within your folder of uh, of this particular type called text and by the way i'm using the text name here because uh, i want to show you the the purpose of the three different type of modular content that we have discussed. So if I go back to my home page and if I do a refresh, I can see here that we have this new section called uh, or new new content added, which is nothing but a simple text. And this is actually quite good because in this particular case, you can also add some uh, images. So let us see if I want to, let us say if I want to add the same image called uh, tower bridge to my, to my text folder. So I go back to my, uh, to my uh, console and I will go back to my welcome to graph folder. And then there is a folder called text. And this time I have all, I've copied the same file, same image file to show you how it looks like. So if I do a refresh of this particular page, I can uh, probably see here that the image is now displayed because we have copied the image from our console. And if I do a save here, and if I go back to my home page, let us see how it looks like. Let us see how the page will uh, will behave and uh, it will uh, display the content. So you can see here that uh, we are able to create uh, such a good looking website, uh, which is quite simple, but uh, we are able to do it uh, without uh, worrying about setting up a database the way you would do it uh, in a typical CMS uh, like WordPress or Drupal. But uh, for building a simple site, I think Grab is really good. So my site is now looking good. Uh, maybe I just want to do a few more things. I may want to change the logo. So to change the logo, what you need to do, you need to go to the theme section. And uh, for this particular folder, for this particular package that we have used uh, in our uh, in our website uh, that we are trying to build, we are using one theme called Quark. And this theme is actually something that comes out of the box. But if you want to add uh, new themes, you can click on the button called uh, add and you will be able to download new themes directly from your admin uh, panel and this is really great way to work on group uh, work on graph because uh, this admin panel is uh, quite simple but you can do a lot of things here like uh, adding new themes so you can take a look at all the themes that are available on uh, on grab website and you can download the themes and you can use them straight away but for this particular example i will be using my same theme called uh, graph I will go back to my theme and if I click on the icon here, I will be taken to the section where I can do some changes. So for this particular example, if you notice, there is uh, an option to uh, use uh, a custom logo and I may want to use uh, a custom logo because I want to maybe use uh, uh, this particular site and I want to now upload it. I want to also use it on my production uh, website i want to actually uh, use it for my actual domain so i may want to change the logo so to change the logo you can simply drag and drop your logo file to this particular uh, area but i can also take a look at my console i, I can go back to my console and i can see the structure of my uh, of my grav theme so if i go back to my user uh, folder within my grav uh, package I have a folder called themes and within this particular folder, I have a folder called quark. And then within this particular folder, you have certain things that you can probably modify. For example, you can go to the images folder and there is a folder called logo. And uh, if I want to, uh, if I want to add a new logo, I can actually try to 
simply upload a new logo file or copy the new logo file here so let me do it uh, very uh, very quickly and uh, uh, what i will do i will uh, copy one uh, one one logo that i've already saved on uh, my desktop and uh, the logo name is uh, grab demo logo.png i will copy this logo within my logo folder within my images folder of my quark theme folder so if i now go back to my uh, to my graph configuration uh, of quark theme and if i do a refresh let us see if the logo is uh, displayed here or not uh, it is not really displayed here but if i go back to my my theme it is still not displayed but uh, what we need to do now we need to actually uh, change the logo file name in our graph configuration although we have copied the uh, logo but we also need to change the 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 uh, configuration and to specify whether we want to use this particular logo or not so what i will be doing i will be uh, going to the configuration of uh, my uh, of my quark uh, theme i may want to look at my quark.yml file uh, do we have any option to specify the logo here uh, it's not here maybe i'll uh, go back and uh, let me try to find where is my uh, logo uh, where, where i can specify the logo file so we have some files here like uh, uh, graph uh, or quark.yml which is probably not the right uh, file let me go to my original uh, 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 let me go back to my user folder i have one folder called config and then there is a folder or uh, there is a file called site.yml where i don't really see any option to uh, specify the logo and there is also a file called uh, system.yml let us see if we have any option to use the logo here so i'm not able to find the uh, find the file where i need to specify the logo so i'll probably do it from my from my admin ui so this is the beauty of having this admin ui because if you're not comfortable if you're not your uh, where you want to modify the file name you can also use the admin panel but it is always good to know the files where uh, where the where the changes need to be made so i can now make a change in this particular file and uh, let me save the particular uh, configuration after uploading the new logo and if i go back to my uh, configuration of my grav uh, website uh, you can see here that now we have uploaded a new logo so there are a few more things that you can do you can also go back to your theme configuration you can uh, make your uh, uh, make some changes to your theme like you can have the transparent uh, uh, header on top you can also have uh, the dark style so let me see how it looks like if i make a change here if i uh, select dark style let us see how it looks so i'm guessing the dark style will change the color of uh, this particular uh, um, header or this particular main navigation on top to to dark and uh, you can also make it transparent i believe by selecting this option called uh, transparent enabled and uh, let us see how it looks like so this is looking actually quite good i am personally very happy with uh, this particular outcome of uh, of graph because uh, by simply using this particular folder that we downloaded I, and by simply using the admin panel we are able to make a beautiful looking website so you can see here that i have made some changes to my to my to my logo i have added a big banner image with some text on top and we can also make the site look even more beautiful if we use some 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 proper icon or maybe we can use some specific or actual links or features so you have this site uh, uh actually ready you can now upload it by simply modifying the content so what i will be doing in my uh, in my next uh, video i will be uh, using this particular website to deploy it on uh, on dreamhost which is uh, very good and uh, simple uh, hosting provider you can create uh, a new website from the admin panel and you can then upload your files so i will i will be using dreamhost to deploy this site that uh, uh, that i've just built i will probably modify the site to reflect some actual content now we have the framework ready we just need to use proper content so that uh, it looks even better and then in the next video we will also understand how we can auto deploy the site on dreamhost because i want this ability to 
modify this particular grab site on my local computer then i will be committing those changes to my repository on github and i will be setting up this particular auto deployment so that whenever i commit any new change whenever i make a change or whenever i add a new file to my grab folder i want dreamhost to automatically pick it up or i want my github to deploy those changes to my dreamhost so i hope this video was useful and i hope you learned something new today about using grab which is uh, which is uh, a very popular flat file cms thank you very much